Hey, what up, guys? Jackal here, and here is part three of the prayer helmet health tutorial. This will be the final part, and in this um, part, we'll be covering the um, prayer target. So, before we get right into it, I just want to show you guys something real quick on my website. Uh, I finally have some under products and services. I have a glitchy HUD template, um, after effects, of course. And you can just um, come here and uh, read the description of it, uh, what's in it, purchasing information. Um, you can view the preview of it. Um, got two previews, what's in the project file and what it is. So it costs $8. So if you want a glitchy HUD template, um, you can buy it from me. And all the um, proceeds go to upgrading my laptop so I can make better tutorials. So let's get right into the um, tutorial. To make the target, all you need to do is make a new composition, call it target, make sure the width and height are 500 pixels each, and the duration 10 seconds. Press OK. And what you'll need to do is bring the target composition into the compositions folder. Select the um, target composition and bring out your ellipse tool. Um, double click on the ellipse tool. Go into the fill. And I have a, um, a color code for you guys. Uh, HE0101. I'm going to copy and paste this into the color code right here. Paste it there will be the code in the description if you want to just copy and paste it and press ok and I'm going to scale this down to about between 20 and 30 percent or between 15 and 30 percent is what I recommend but I'm going to do 20 percent alright I'm going to turn this to half alright All right. now what you need to do is add a glow just retype this in glow Alright, it's the default glow, don't mess with it at all. And we're at a um, fast blur to this. Blur. Alright. And make sure the blurriness is at 12%. And you want to click repeat edges. Alright. Alright, now we are going to duplicate this two times. Control D, Control D. And what you'll need to do is um, position this in a triangle shape. And to help with this, we're going to bring out the ruler, Control R. And we're going to have the ruler about midway right here. And we're going to get the first shape layer, put it about right here. Right. And get the second one, put it right there. And the final one, we're going to. Put this in the middle of all that. Just get over. Get about the middle. Right there. And we can position this so it's in the middle of both. We can drop this down a bit and move the um, shape layer one, shape layer two closer. Just make sure they're in the, about a perfect triangle shape. And you can look in the center and make sure it's all even steven. Alright. You can label it circles if you want, but I'm not going to. Alright, now um, you can get rid of the ruler if you don't need it anymore, but I'm just going to keep it there. Alright. Now we're going to make a new adjustment layer. You can um, name it glow because we're going to add another glow to this. Um, type in glow. And add glow. Alright. And what we're gonna need to do is change the threshold to twenty percent. And down here where the glow colors are, change the colors to A and B and voila. Now the threshold I recommend you keep it at twenty percent, but you can change it to about um between fifteen and about twenty two percent. So you can keep the white inside of it. That's um the whole glow the whole gold um the whole goal of adding this um glow to it. Alright. Now we're done here. Um you close the composition and bring the composition into your prayer helmet HUD border composition. Alright, target. 
and I'm going to have this under the scanning lines you can have it on top if you want to or you can have it on top of the CC lens but I'm going to keep it you know what I'm going to put it on top of the CC lens alright and we're going to bring the scale down a bit about 50% um, toggle switches and we're going to make this a three layer okay and we're going to press S to get this um, or I mean position to get the position out and just for example right here um, we're going to bring the position all the way back um, use shift to bring it all the way back hold shift while you um, uh, bring it back and we're going to keyframe it right here and we'll go to um, six seconds and if it's um loading slowly for you, um, you can always change the resolution down. I'm gonna change it down to quarter, just to make it a little bit faster. All right. Um, give me a sec, guys. While it's loads. Uh, all right. And now I'm going to bring this all the way back in and bring it to a position where you want it to be alright that looks nice and we're going to toggle switches real quick and make sure the mode is set to screen or maybe add if you want screen or add so everyone floats your boat alright and now we're going to rotate this so press R and we're going to rotate it on the Z rotation um, alt click it and type in time times um, about 350 you want something really high we're going to slow low, solo this real quick because this is um, becoming a bit laggy for me alright so this alright so we can preview it so that looks nice okay If something seems a bit wrong, that's because it, it tri it's not really a perfect triangle. Um, all you need to do is go back into your target and just adjust it a bit so it can become a perfect triangle. Alright. Alright, now um, that has basically been the um, Predator Helmet HUD tutorial series. Um... I'll show you guys something real quick how to make a cinematic composition. Uh, make a new composition, call it Cine. Um, um, I'm going to make this 1280 by 720 for, um, for YouTube standards. And we're going to drop the Predator Helmet HUD border into this. And get the scale out by pressing S. So I just do this. Unlink this and on the Y axis, we're gonna make it 90%. And that's basically the cinematic effect. You need to have it between 80 and about 95%. Uh, I like 90%. Alright, and you can add other color corrections if you want to or whatever. So that has been the Prairie Helmet HUD tutorial part 3. And uh, I'll see you guys later. And if you want to um, see a preview of the next tutorial I'm doing, you can go to my website on Thursdays. I will always have a preview up for you guys. So um, see you guys later.